How's it going folks? Long time no chat. Things have been a little crazy here to say the least. I'll uh, just bring you up to speed for you folks who um, may not know what's going on. My mum came up for a couple of weeks and just as a bit of a respite, my father's got stage four dementia. So mum really needed a break. So she came up here for a couple of weeks. And while she was up here two weeks ago, Bianca's father passed. Uh, she'd been spending a fair bit of time down there um, with him as much as she could. Uh, he had uh, stage four lung cancer. He basically um, passed uh, before he had to be hooked up to machines and catheters and drips and that sort of thing. So yeah, he went, he went the way he wanted to go and we saw him off last Thursday. But anyway, um, yep, yeah, so we're back home now. We had our girls come up and Ahanu, Maya's partner, and they spent a couple of days with us as well, which was fantastic. So while all that was going on, I saw there was an auction um, going on down in Brisbane. And it just so happened it, it timed nicely with me taking mum back. And um, yeah, so we got to pick up a few bits and pieces on the way home. And I thought I'd give you a bit of a look at, um, yeah, what we won in the auction. So the auction was for aqua gardening. Aqua gardening unfortunately closed down. They were one of Australia's largest pond hydroponic and aquarium, aquarium, aquaponics online stores. And they had a lot of stuff that um, they were able to return to uh, the original suppliers, but a lot of stuff, yeah, like fixtures and some of the products, yeah, had to go to auction. So I've scored myself a nice big Dexion bench. And on that bench, there was a nice little pedestal drill, which is great because a bench one is always handy. I've got a large um, floor mounted, oh, well, a floor jobby coming, uh, which is my father's. I just need to organize picking it up. Uh, also got a large three and a half meter ladder or that many feet ladder. The only problem is OH&S had padlocked it and they don't have a key. So Kira did say she was gonna try and pick it while she was up here. She's a big fan of the pick, lock picking lawyer and a few others. So I think the anchor might want to have a crack at it now. We don't have any lock picking tools, but yeah, we'll see what we can do. Worst case scenario, disc grinder, just knock off, lop off the padlock there. So we scored that, um, some racks, this rack here, and two of these Wayland storage racks, which were fairly expensive. Um, I got two of them. Uh, other people bid crazy amounts for just plain racks by themselves. These racks came loaded up with all this aluminium stuff on it um, from where they were making up small little aquaponics kits. I got more of it over there and the little um, fixtures that plug into them, bits and pieces. So they were covering these racks and I ended up getting them for a song. I wanted the racks and the other stuff was a bit of a bonus. Plus um, this little mobile trolley rack um, that's gonna come in handy here. So pretty chuffed about that. Loads of boxes of bits and pieces I haven't been through yet. We've got stuff like small submersible pumps, only two of them. Uh, little um, pump sprayers, extension leads for uh, pond equipment, which look to have a generic plug fitting, uh, path lights, all sorts of bits and pieces, outside um, waterproof plug adapters. So I'm pretty happy with that. A load of uh, Blue Lab stuff. So range extenders and care kits. Also got a combo meter, a normal pen meter and a guardian system. So I'll be using some of them and putting some of them up for sale on the website. Loads of other stuff that I probably won't be using that I'll probably put on the website as well for sale. Just to let you folks know, I have updated the shop. I've given a bit of a makeover and added all the bits and pieces we have purchased from the auction. And they're now up there live, ready for you to buy. Um, you can buy them if you're overseas, but the postage would probably be a little bit expensive. But yeah, so mainly for Aussies. They're discounted below recommended retail prices already. And until the end of the month, if you use the code new stock at checkout, you'll get a further 10% discount off the already discounted price. So suss them out if you're interested, loads of testing equipment, a few bits and pieces from Blue Lab, and yeah, just general um, backyard farming, aquaponics, hydroponics sort of stuff. If you're in the market and you're in Australia, um, expect to see a few bargains come up on the website. A lot of the stuff uh, I will be keeping is stuff that we can use around here, like this slasher, organic weed killer. 
I'm using a, another brand that's a lot cheaper than this stuff. This stuff hit the market first though, and is well known. Uh, it's based on um, nononic acid, and we've found uh, it worked really well around the place. Uh, it's actually killed some giant red tail grass, so that's got us um, really encouraged. So we've got a couple of concentrates there, three concentrates there. So that's three litres, four litres, five and a half litres of concentrate plus some um, three litre ready to go stuff and some one or oh, 750 mil ready to go stuff. So we're going to be using that around the place. Also scored bits like this eco oil and some larger eco oils and some eco neem and a whole box full of the small eco neem. Uh, won't be definitely recommended retail price just basically to clear it because <laughs> Um, yeah, it put a big hole in our budget. I actually had to draw down off the home loan, which I really didn't want to do. That's supposed to be for a tractor or the dams to get this stuff. So I need to at least, yeah, pay the bills. Uh, there's a lot of stuff. If anyone's still growing with um, uh, the large light bulbs, there's a fair few of the larger light bulbs. Uh, I know most people um, go with LEDs now, but this stuff here, um, yeah, a, a, a fair few of them. Also got loads of uh, test kits. So I will have test kits for sale on the sites. I will also have, <laughs> because everyone needs at least 20 of them, a load of um, one-way <laughs> non-return air valves, more um, extension cables, uh, duct tape, um, all little bits and pieces. Um, actually, what was that one? Odor neutralizer. Mm, I don't know how many um, aquaponicists in Australia have that, but I um, yeah have some odor neutralizer and some more light bulbs down there. I actually got a um, a zero odor little toiletry bag. I don't know what you'd be putting in that to hide the odor, but yeah, um, some of that. A uh, load of clay already pre-packaged uh, for the hydroponic guys because hydroponic guys only use small amounts. Basically what happens is that when the larger bags break on shipment, they just uh, broke them up into smaller ones. Also got some of these little 50 litre aqua tanks, a couple of them. A lot of this stuff I really don't know what it's worth, so I have to go online and work it out. Some little green wall um, doohickeys. Uh, they're basically, uh, I'll stand him up. There we go. Uh, just little green wall herb gardens for people in flats and that sort of thing. You connect it to a hose, um, there's a watering kit included, and you can just pop them on the timer or whatever and they just look after themselves. I'm not sure whether I'll keep them or use them myself. There's a larger one I'd probably keep rather than the small ones. And we also got behind here on my charging station, a complete solar reef um, kit. So that's pretty much all everything. It's the pump, the solar panel, People have been hassling me to get into solar aquaponics, so there you go. Might end up with one yet. I do like an IVS style small system. Um, so the water's, yeah, just going through uh, during the daytime. Might even look at using some of the spare panels we have to hook up a larger battery, but this is just, yeah, might make up the basic bare bones of it. We've got a few of these little clip fans as well, but they don't do much to move the air around in this hot shed. Just quickly, the other thing I forgot to mention is I also got a whole load of bulk um, iron, the DTPA uh, chelated iron and also potassium bicarbonate, which I already have a bag of potassium bicarbonate. So I'm breaking up those additives and selling them on the shop now. I've already had a couple of people ask me if they know what's going on with the aqua gardening stuff because that's where they were getting their iron and the potassium bicarbonate from. Well, you can get it from me now. I'm kicking myself I wasn't selling it earlier. Um, I could have been selling it for years, but I just haven't um, got around to doing it. But now I've got bags of it. And yeah, we're running uh, pretty lean on the old uh, cash flow situation. So I need to get that stuff out there and try and yeah, make a bit of money through the store. But don't worry, I'm not turning into a capitalist pig. I'm still gonna be doing videos. So it's just, yeah, um, family and other bits and pieces have gotten in the way over the last, oh, I don't know, since we started looking for a farm, really, everything sort of went a little bit pear-shaped. Well, that's where I'm up to. Now I just need to sort out the rest of the shed. And a massive thanks to Ahanu for helping me do this, even though you probably never see this. Uh, he helped me sort out all the aquaponic stuff and move it out in the little lean-to shed down the side there. Actually, we'll give you a quick look. And accumulated some more rubbish to take to the dump. 
And this little update's probably getting so long that only two people will probably watch it. But yeah, we now have all the um, aquaponics stuff in here now. And that is the old greenhouse, uh, the polycarbonate greenhouse. Ahanu helped me pull that down as well. Yeah, that's most of the aquaponics stuff with little bits and pieces out the back and still some other um, plumbing bits and pieces in the shed. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a vehicle driving down our road. We get two vehicles a day. We get the neighbor in the morning when she opens up the shop and her husband a little bit later when he goes out to do deliveries. So yeah, it's, it's peak hour here at the moment. Uh, there, like I said, there will be the Q and A video, fingers crossed coming this week. Uh, it's Tuesday, so I've got no excuse not to film it and edit it and get it up in time. And there'll be a bit of a uh, farm channel video as well, just showing a few of the bits and pieces that have gone on around the place. And I think I will wrap it up there. Thanks again to all you wonderful supporters who are continuing to support the channel uh, through the different membership platforms. We really do appreciate it. I do hope you're all well and happy and I will catch you next bid. Cheers, folks. Take it easy. I'm trying to film a look at all the products on the shelf. Someone keeps attacking my feet on a very dirty cow rug. Hey Jack, I'm not food dude, I'm not food.